I'm Michelle Fleen and this is a live news special report. A bill for the legalization of marijuana in South Africa was tabled today by IFP Member of Parliament Mario Ambrosini. Ambrosini has become the country's most vocal advocate for the decriminalization of marijuana for medicinal purposes. Earlier this week, he publicly admitted that he relies on marijuana to ease the pain caused by a stage 4 lung cancer and chemotherapy. Live News spoke to Ambrosini shortly before he announced the bill at a press conference in Cape Town. What prompted the decision to introduce that bill? You see, I, I acted out of desperation. When I, was, uh, when I received a diagnosis of a disease which could not, cure, would not, could not be cured, I did not accept uh, that within the realm of knowledge of, of mankind there is no cure to cancer. So I looked beyond the conventional trinity of uh, surgery, chemotherapy and, uh, and radiotherapy and discovered a, a vast range of options and we selected a few of them, myself and my advisors. For the management of the pain, they advised me to do cannabis. How has marijuana helped you in your fight against cancer? They feel better, I can breathe better. I dare not say that my condition is improving because I still don't have any hard clinical evidence. But the patient feels better. And I want to stress, I mean, there's been reports uh, that I'm, I'm smoking it. Now I've got lung cancer, I can't smoke it. I'm taking it rectally, so it does not affect my brain. I don't get stoned. If I took it orally, I would get stoned. And I tried. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> I take the pain. I'm not going to take being stoned. So I take it rectally and epidermically. Mm. No, uh, no side effect except the fact that my, my hair has become curly. It's a matter of courage. If you confront an intelligent person, what's we'll say, sure, what's the problem with, with, with marijuana? It's what, uh, it's what Helen Sussman said. So what? Mm. You know, I took marijuana, so what? There isn't a single reported case of a person who died of marijuana. I don't know how many kilos you would need to smoke or ingest for you to be in a fatal situation. Just think how many cases are there of people who died of alcohol and tobacco, yeah. which we promote. Everyone who wants to get stoned finds it. Yeah. There is no problem in recreational marijuana. It is the people who are looking for it for medical purposes who cannot find it, mm. who are forced to spend a fortune to find it. And we need to f open it up for medical purposes. And we can't wait years and years of debate. This can be done and can be done here and now. And that's the purpose of my bill.